Sometimes I think the circumstances that we find ourselves in try to speed us up to make us do those things that we would do in haste as opposed to pace. In other words, when you rush into something, a lot of times you're not prepared. You haven't thought it through. You haven't examined the facts to see what may at first appearance be something that immediately requires your attention. But as you begin to look a little closer, you realize that maybe a hands-off approach would be a wiser idea. I know I see that a lot on information sometimes when people pass on a rumor they've heard or some tidbit or some gossip or some news story that they think is oh so interesting but they haven't checked to see if it's factual and because information is so not connected to a person they don't realize the damage that that can do to someone when they put their faith, so to speak, or their trust in the information they were given. So we need to be cautious in the world we live in today because with so much instant information, it's too easy to run off, like the old expression used to say, run off half-cocked and not know that it's too easy to pull the trigger and blow someone away with your assumptions and presumptions as opposed to the facts once God has revealed what his will is in the circumstance and situation. That's why we ought to always pray, and the scripture says men ought always to pray, but it means more than just saying a prayer or throwing it at God and seeing if it sticks. It means having a discourse and discussion with God to find out what he would say. And that's what we stress or try to here in Evotional is it's not about reading a devotion and running off your own way, but it's about sitting down and discussing with Jesus what he would have to say to you and to me and what we would do with that as he reveals his will for us. In God Calling, Know my divine power, trust in me, dwell in my love, laugh and trust. Laughter is a child's faith in God and good. Seek safety in my secret place. You cannot be touched or harmed there, that is sure. Really feel as if you were in a strong tower, strongly guarded, against which nothing can prevail. When you read the Bible, and add your devotions to it, then you see how God has delivered in the past those who trusted in him, and you recognize in the present, based upon your own experiences, how, if you have been a Christian for a while, God has delivered you. And you can be assured that in the future, he will do the same because he changes not. So, turning to him, in every circumstance and situation of our life, as God Colling mentions, is that we ought to take that step back at times, maybe, and grab a cup of coffee. Sit down with whatever circumstance you may have or situation. Maybe reread a devotion or open your Bible and pray. And See if God might speak to you in some certain way that might say, it's not what you see. Because you will understand that man, you and I, are very able to look on the outward things. And sometimes we can sense that something's not quite right. Or we can perceive that something is more than it appears to be. But only God can look on the heart. So we ought to 
and there's that word ought where we should, but doesn't mean that we will. We ought to ask God in every circumstance or situation we find ourselves in so that he could reveal the heart of the matter, meaning that he can show what his will is, he can show where the person is at or the circumstance, he can show how it fits or doesn't fit in what he wants you to do in that given circumstance or situation. It's easy to say to see someone splashing around in the water and think that they need to be rescued, but when you dive in and you find out that the person is an avid swimmer and they're just playing, it feels a little foolish. Evaluate first, ask God, and let Him direct you, and you'll find that life becomes a little easier and a lot more fun, and you make fewer mistakes if you ask Jesus along the way what He would have you to do. For me, today, that's what I do, is I have to stop, look, and pray before I dive in, because my tendency is to, oh yeah, <laughs> I'll jump, I'll leap before I look. But we need to not just look, but wait on the Lord at times to see what He would say regarding anything that comes our way.